All right, we have five week old blue Americanas. If these videos are helpful to you, make sure you subscribe. It helps us to bring you more chicken breeds. But oh, I have, this one's a female for sure. Actually, they're both females. But this is obviously what, black, a black one, and this is either blue or splash. Do we know it's yet? It's blue. It's blue. That's a blue. Do we know what the splash looks like? I don't know if we have any splash. Okay. Um, we've got quite a few more of them running around here. Right now, they're uh, all getting ready to settle in for the night. It's just starting to get dark outside, and so uh, they're all chirping over there in the corner. But uh, maybe we can get a few more of them out so we can take a look. But so I have a hard time telling them between the black copper morans, but now I can see their fluffy cheeks. So they are, what, muffed? Are they muffs? Is that mm -hmm. they're called? They're muffed birds. So that can help you identify them. Also, the they have a different comb. The Americana has a pea comb, so it sits much oh, smaller right. and closer to the head you than like the typical single they comb. comb. Yeah, yep. um, they will get quite a bit larger um, and will actually protrude a, a fair amount as they get older. But uh, they are great for cold weather because they're not as prone to frostbite as those with the large single combs. But uh, let's see if we can find some more of these chirping Americanas over here. We can see that they're starting to feather out too. Like, you can see it's a little dark. I can chase them out. That. We'll see if we can get them chased out of the corner for you over into the light. Ah! I'll chase them. We'll let, we'll let Hannah chase them out of the back, that, that dark corner. You can see why they might like that dark corner. you got several of our other breeds out here as well including the uh, Golden Comets and the Barred Plymouth Rock. We've even got one rogue bird in here that we've not even been able to show you much of. It's called a Ostrawhite, which is a cross between an Ostralorp and uh, something else, I forget which. But uh, check out all these happy little birds, enjoying the extra space here in the coop. Here's some more of those Americanas. You can see ranging from different levels of gray or black that one right there kind of running back into the corner that one might even qualify as a lavender which is a super soft gray uh, very desirable color for some but uh, we've got several different americanas running around and before too much longer they'll be producing some blue eggs for us too hope you've enjoyed this peak we'll check in ne next week